Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. And today, it's uh, kind of hot in these rhinos. Yep. So today we'll be painting Rhino from Marvel Crisis Protocol. This is one of my favorite Marvel characters. I, uh, he's just a guy in a rhino suit. I don't know why that's awesome to me, but apparently it is. Let's paint him. So first thing we're going to do is give this guy a spray of Wraithbone all over. Um, no Zenithal here. And we are going to start with Holy White and Gravelord Grey. We are going to mix these two together and this is going to go all over his uh, bodysuit. His, his rhino suit, if you will. You don't have a choice. You must. He's in a rhino suit. So there you go. We're going to switch over to Gilliman Flesh, and this is just going to go on his uh, elbows, his knees, and the palm of his hands. So I am going to wet blend these two together. And so while it's still wet, we're just going to take our time and kind of mix those colors together. We're going to move over to Ishtar Pink, and this is just going to go all over his face. Uh, try to avoid the teeth here. We're going to do those differently. Next, we're going to take some ghost gray and we're going to do a dry brush, but not a regular dry brush. We're going to take some water here on a paper towel and just dampen that. So we're going to use a circular, uh, a round dry brush. It's a makeup brush that I got at the dollar store. We're going to take off most of the paint here, but not all of it. I don't know. You'll have to play around with this and learn it. And then we're going to dab um, that just into the water here and then take off some more paint. Now, this is going to hopefully help with... Uh, dry brushing tends to look rather grainy and this is going to help smooth it out um, so apparently we've all been dry brushing incorrectly and there should be a little dampness in the brush this is something I learned from Artis Opus and you should check out their channel because what he does with the dry brush is just astounding so check them out Now we're going to take some pale flesh and we're going to mix this in with the Ishtar pink that we used on his face. And we're going to use this to just dry brush over the knees, uh, the elbows, and the palm of the hands there. And we're going to use the same tactic of using a little bit of dampness in our brush. And we're going to take some tan from Vallejo and some khaki and also a little bit of bone white here and we are going to uh, wet blend his horn so we're going to start with that tan and we're just going to gently do a full coat of that over the horns here then we're going to add on that khaki and where that line meets we're going to kind of blend those two colors together and we're also going to then take our bone white and this is going to go mostly near the tip here and we're also going to blend that in with the khaki so we can kind of get a good gradient of colors We're going to take some Berserker Blood Shade, and this is just going to go all over that Ishtar Pink we put on his face. And we're going to take some Black Legion here, and this is just going to go on the Rhino Suit's eyes. So just really gently dot in those eyes there. Then we're going to take some Skeleton Horde, and this is just going to go on his teeth. And that's why we were going to leave them white. I'm going to take a minute to talk about the hubris of a guy putting on a, a rhino suit and going after a guy named Spider-Man. Like, the guy defeated Green Goblin and, like, people with actual powers. Like, people that harness electricity. <laughs> And this guy's like, I'm just going to put on a rhino suit. That'll do it. It won't do it. Now for the nails, uh, toenails, I don't know, hoofs here, we're just going to do the khaki and bone white and leave the tan out. But we're going to do the same thing we did on the horns. We're 
also going to do the same thing on his fingernails. And while we have that bone white out, we're going to do some highlights here on the horn as well, just to the tip, and then we're going to draw in some just kind of sort of like edge highlightings on the raised areas of the horn just to kind of give it a little bit more depth there. We're also going to take this and dot in his teeth, so just be gentle there, go slow. We're going to take that Ishtar pink and the pale flesh from before. Now we're going to start with the Ishtar pink and just do the highlight up on all the skin of the face. And as we go through, we're then going to add in some of that pale flesh and do another highlight, a little bit less this time. And then we're going to add in a little bit more pale flesh and we'll do a third highlight and just slowly bring those colors up. We're going to take some dead white and this is just going to go onto his eyes. No pupils here, we're just going to do the comic book white eye thing. We're going to take some somber gray and this is going to go over all the concrete parts of the base. So everything on the base that's concrete, including the concrete he is smashing with his fist. Then we're going to take some gun metal and this is just going to go on the manhole cover here. Then we're going to take some wolf gray and this is going to go as a dry brush all over the base. We're going to use that same tactic where we're dampening our brush just a little bit and that should hopefully smooth it down and won't be so grainy. Next, we're going to take some dead white and we're going to use that same dry brush. We're not going to clean it off. We're just going to add in some dead white and do another dry brush onto the concrete here. We're going to take some beastie brown and we are just going to do a dry brush just on the under parts of the concrete he is smashing just to add a little bit of variation, but not too much, just a little bit of interest. And we're going to take some dirty down rust here and this is just going to go all over the manhole cover so you can do this uh, lightly and then heavily in spots and that'll add variation to it this stuff is really interesting i would suggest getting some and trying it out we're going to add a black rim around the base here and then this guy is done and I am super happy with how this guy turned out. Really a uh, quick paint job, but really nice, really smooth. I love how the face worked. Um, and a super cool miniature. Really happy with it. So obviously with a miniature like this that is primarily gray, standing on uh, asphalt or cement that is primarily gray, we kind of had to figure out a way to vary those grays and I think that this worked out really well like the cement is more of a bluish gray and he's more of a uh, light almost like whitish gray I don't know that's a lot of talk about gray please go back and give our ogre video a watch we are giving those ogres away to one lucky viewer all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on that ogre video and you will be entered to win so please head on back and win some ogres weird either way thank you guys so much for watching please like share subscribe comment all of the youtube stuff and you guys have a great day so we are going to take some gooman 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 gilliman gulliman i can't i can never say gw names and we're going to take some dirty down rust i don't know if it's the company is called dirty down is the company called dirty down where's the bottle i don't know dirty down rust it's an odd name for a company i guess it, it isn't because of what they do that's this is rambling that's rambling